everyone, so I'm here today to talk to you about a couple of little tips and tricks when it comes to fake tanning that will probably be very beneficial to you if you always struggle with things like tanning your hands, your knees, that kind of thing. Just a few things that I find really helpful and one of them is something that I discovered recently and that I've been really, really enjoying. So the first one is to always use a mitt and I know that this is probably something that everyone does anyway, but I do know a few people who still like to do it with their hands or with gloves and that kind of thing. This is a tanning mitt, your best friend. Let me introduce you to it, okay? Nothing puts your tan on as well as this because it just makes everything so much more even. If Even if you put gloves on, think about it, you've still got the texture of your fingers, so it's kind of, you've got room for streaks. You don't have that with this, it just puts everything on in a really even motion. And it's just easy to pop on, you know, then you just chuck it in the washing machine. This is one that's been washed a couple of times, so it's looking a little bit manky but they wash fine and you know the tan won't come out all over the washing machine or anything like that so really really important to invest in one of these then when it comes to tanning dodgy areas so areas that tend to get very dry your knees your elbows um, your feet that kind of thing a lot of people always have difficulty with um, but you know, they, they know that you're supposed to put a moisturiser on. But a lot of times it depends what moisturiser it is that you're putting on. Not every moisturiser kind of helps to be a bit of a barrier between the fake tan. You don't want something that's too oily that's going to prevent the tan from sticking because you don't want to have brown legs and white knees. But you don't want something that's kind of going to make the tan adhere to your knees and make them look really, really dark. I always think when... Um, when that's happened to me, when my knees go really dark, that it makes it look like you've got elephant knees kind of thing. It just, I don't know, that's what I always think. But a great, great product for this is just a very kind of no frills moisturiser. You could just use your kind of standard oil-free face moisturiser, nothing too fancy. But this is what I use and it's the vitamin C, um, vitamin E, sorry, all over body cream from Superdrug. And it's just a really, really simple, no frills moisturiser. It works really nicely to kind of maintain your tan. It just works really well. And what I do is I'll take a little bit and put some on my knees, my feet, all over my feet, then on the backs of my hands, some on my wrist, in a bit of my elbow, out a bit of my elbow, and it works really, really nicely. Now, today's probably not the best day to be doing this video because the tan I used was the Sam Ritz tan, and that's not my favourite in terms of a formula. I find the formula a little bit dodgy. Um, I mean, like I like the colour of the tan, but it's just not the nicest formula. But when it comes to tanning hands and feet, this is one of the best tricks I found. I don't know how I came across it, but using wipes. So what I will do with my hands is I've got kind of a bit of moisturiser on and I'm doing my arms. So I'll be kind of with a mitt, just tanning my arms and everything. And then when you get to your hands, what I'll do is I'll kind of put them in a claw motion like that. And then just gently with whatever's left, do not put another pump on to just tan your hands because your hands will look so ridiculously tanned and no one's hands tanned like that in real life. Just like that. And then just kind of gently brush it across a little bit on your fingers. Try and avoid putting too much on your knuckle area because that can look really fake. I mean, I don't know how well you can see here, but it looks all right. Um, and it's starting to fade a little bit here because I'm on probably about day four, no, day three of my tan. And as I said, Samaritz probably isn't the best example. But popping it on just like that, very, very gently, do it with a very gentle stroke and just make sure it's everywhere. And just, just a little bit of colour on your hands. You know, your hands don't tan super, super dark anyway. But sometimes you can still get that annoying thing where you get tan builds up in between here and it's such a kind of telltale sign that you've been fake tanning as well as if you've got kind of a bit of a build up here. So this is where wet wipes come in handy and this is such a good tip that I can't believe I didn't know before. And these are just normal, um, you know, ultra soft wet wipes from Tesco's, whatever. And I will show you how I do it. I'm just going to get one out. I like the packet of that random thing, but it stays closed really nicely. So with a wet wipe, after you've done that, I'll just take it, kind of fold it in my hands so it's that shape, and then just go in between my fingers just to remove any bit of tan down here, and then a little bit just there, very gently, just dab it away. And it makes tanning your hands so much easier. So just in between your fingers, getting rid of any tan, a little bit here, and then sometimes I'll kind of just even it out a little bit there and it works so, so 
well it makes everything just look so much more kind of even and natural and not cakey and kind of where you've got just a build up of tan and it looks really orange just the best best thing i found so i don't fake tan out without a stack of wet wipes by my side but i hope you enjoyed this video just a few little tips i wanted to share with you because i wasn't doing it with the wet wipes i was just kind of trying to be really careful because obviously you can't then go in and wash your hands after you fake tan because then everything on the back of your hand will come off and you don't want to kind of drip it down your arm and that kind of thing so doing it that way is a really really good kind of easy foolproof pretty much trick to use but I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've got any fake tan secrets and I will see you next time. Bye!